Oh no, oh no, we have a problem. What's wrong, Broby? We're in, we're in, we're in. Broby, Broby, calm down. Now tell me, what's the matter? We're in an anime. Wait, what? Hey everybody, it's Jamal here, and welcome back to my Creepypasta Review Series. Now, for those of you who don't know, and you're probably going to be shocked as I speak, but I'm not particularly interested in anime. Yes, I can already hear the police coming down my rotten way, but I just don't care about it. So it would only make sense that I don't know what the fuck this is. I don't know, but the title alone just sounds like an anime. It might not be an anime, but... Okay, well, it might not be an anime, despite what the title tells me, but I digress. So, today we're reading Yo Gabba Gabba. Neezer Anger? What, what, what the fuck? What kind of title is that? Anyway. You know what? Let's just get this fucker over with. Ah, Yo Gabba Gabba. A TV show that I remember watching during my childhood. Sure, it did have some mental problems, but it was quite this it was quite a nostalgic and show in my eyes. The show consists of six characters named DJ Lance Rock. Muno, Fufa, Broby, Tootie, and Flex. And five of them live and play in Gabaland. And the host of the show, DJ Lance, lives in the middle of fucking nowhere. Ooh, I'm just gonna... We're just gonna call it The Room. Anyway. Which is the setting of the most episodes... It also had a collection of very catchy songs, whether it's performed by the song by the main characters, or performed by a guest band or dancey dance guest. That's the only good side of it. There's one thing about the show that will haunt me forever until my goddamn grave. All right, so it's the same. Start up for a lot of these stories. It's just, you know, this shit and this DVD cover, you get the idea. Let's skip to the fucking episode. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. So, finally, we get a creepypasta that actually has the usual, you know, show intro. So, I'll give it a point for that. But then, but don't worry, it's all downhill from here. I'm sorry, I just can't get over that. An episode, a creepypasta lost episode of creepypasta. I can't talk today. A lost episode of creepypasta that actually, you know, has a normal intro with no changes whatsoever. But don't worry. And it's only going to get worse from here. So, we, so the story takes a huge nose dive when we get to the title card. It shows all of the kid robot figures, you know. Outside the screen, meanwhile, we get a Nezzy Red. Oh, it's Nezzy Anger. You know, a bunch of Nezzy colored pieces of shit. Oh, there's a oh, Nezzy Anger. The episode starts as usual. You know, hello, friends. Today we're gonna have a f today we're gonna have a great time. And after the DJ Lance sentence, once we get a bunch of random you know, villains, the voice was kind of familiar. And by the fact that it says it was in Japanese, so we couldn't understand it. Therefore, it has to be an anime. Uh, 
No detail answers the little concerned. Alright, so a bunch of evil, you know, anime villains come out of nowhere. And they, and they beat the shit out of DJ Lance. All that shit. And the main protagonist thought the voice sounded familiar. I, I mean, look familiar. Anyway... So the characters were building a castle. But the gang's building a castle in Tootie Land. But Muno does not knock it down because he's fixing everything. And so Flex came in worried and brings in the bad news. He finds DJ Lance's He finds DJ Lance missing. Many of the, the other characters derive that he's busy with something. Then, nothing else. Then, so, the main protagonist uses his voice translator again to, you know, do shit. But none of the characters actually speak Japanese. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, never mind. They actually never use. And Captain never uses a voice translator anyway. So the characters hear a Japanese voice and they don't understand the language. So. Luckily, Plex actually understands all languages because he's you know, a fucking robot, so he uses his English translator. That way they'll understand whatever the hell they're saying. The voice then says, quote, We might look new to the five of you down there, but we are something that can't be defeated. This is where the story gets worse. They literally said, "We might look diff, we might look new to the five of you, but we are something that cannot be defeated." Is is this a cry for help? I see. So Plex is a little hesitant to you know be then the fuck down. Then Tootie forces him, so Plex does it, and then. Then they kill them. So they all make a totally, totally menacing speech to, you know, the main character, and then the credits roll. And it's only going to get worse from here. Uh, uh, oh. And then the story ends with the char with the main character destroying the fucking DVD. Wow, I am impressed. I've never seen a story this consistently bad, or plot points this, this consistently stupid. I mean, it's honestly impressive. This blew Kevin's stories out of the water in terms of badness. That's right. Fuck Eliza's stories. Fuck Kevin's stories. This is probably the worst story I've read so far. Okay, I mean... Think about it. I mean, look at it. It's it's perfect genius. It's the perfect match. Yo Gabba Gabba and anime. It's the perfect match. The perfect mix. Why not Yo Gabba Gabba and Pokemon? Yo Gabba Gabba and Sonic X. See, it doesn't work. You know, that's like putting that's like putting My Little Pony with fucking backyard against or something. It does not fucking work. And I'll bet you a million dollars nobody knows what Nezianger actually is. 
I'm going to assume it's an anime, but still, the point stands. As far as I'm concerned, nobody knows what the fuck Nezzy Anger is. So fuck the story, and fuck Nezzy Anger for making me read this. I'm sorry. Alright. Sorry, let me rephrase what I said. I can't talk today. Anyway. Fuck this story. Fuck Nezzy Anger. And just fuck the old Gabby Gabby creepy process in general. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.